This is how to play the slap on the djembe. Uh, you can think of the slap as the exclamation point in the music. So the slaps are the accents. They are uh, a really sharp, piercing, and, and popping sound. Now, uh, it's important to be mindful of a couple of things because it's easy to injure your hands when we're doing the slap uh, if we don't take care. First thing is that you want to make sure that your drum head tension is tight. It becomes challenging to get a good slap sound if your uh, the drum head is real loose. So the way to know it's too loose is if you can put your finger in the center of the drum and if you push down, if it's real bouncy, if there's lots of give to the head, you know that the head's probably not tight enough uh, to get a really good slap sound. It's not impossible, but it makes you have to work harder and increases the likelihood that you might hurt your, your knuckle joints. To get a good slap, there's lots of uh, different ways that, that I've seen people do this, uh, lots of, of good ways. The way that I found that seems to work the best for me is that when I come down onto the drum, and this is kind of a, a dance that I do with, with, with the edge of the drum, is that I let the rim of the drum actually meet my hand here. Now the dance part is that I'm not hitting so hard that I hurt my palm. And that's, that's the challenge. So you have to be mindful of that. The second part, so we, so, so we come down and we, we meet the rim lightly. Second part is that I let my middle and ring finger strike first. And then I let my two outside fingers, so my pointer and my pinky, hit next. So if I'm striking in very slow motion, right, these fingers, these two hit first, and then the outside two. So on the drum it looks like this. So slow motion, oh. Now in actuality, that process happens very fast. The idea with the two outside fingers hitting second is that in doing so, it creates a bit of a, uh, an attention on the head, and it's almost as if the head feeds back on itself. So the, the tension of this and then this coming down right after it creates the, the, the popping tension that allows the, the drum to really speak in that, that piercing way. So again, you want to practice the slap in small doses to get there so that uh, you keep your hands in good shape. That's always the most important thing. Keep your hands in good shape. You need those. All right, so a couple of these just to, to hear the difference between the tone, which is this, and the slap, which is a different sound. So there's a big difference between the tone, big difference between the bass and the slap, that piercing exclamation point. Sometimes uh, it takes some time to build up to the point where you get that nice popping sound. Remember also to check the tension of your head so that you're not having to overwork when you are making the slap. 